What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel. Welcome back to another episode of the New York Yankees Legends Fantasy Draft here on MLB The Show 21. We are back and we are at finally the all-star break of season number two. In the last episode, we played and finished up the month of June. We simulated through halfway through the month of July, and now we sit at All-Star Weekend, which will include in this video the Home Run Derby, the All-Star Game, and the Trade Deadline. Those are the three big things in today's video that we are going to be getting through today, and then the next episode will be the month of August, and then the next episode after that will be the month of September, and then the next episode after that will be the Playoffs, baby! That's right, we are three episodes away from the finish of the second season and this has probably been my most successful MLB series that I've ever done on the channel and I appreciate that I thank you guys so much I love you guys I hope you guys do enjoy this video we've got some crazy stuff happening today let's get straight into it make sure to smash that like button notification bell and the subscription button as well join the juice club let's get into it so we start this video in the trade screen and as you can tell at the top, it says we're definitely interested in making this deal. I have put together a package for a couple of players that I have had my eye on for a little bit. One of them being Joe Maurer. The other being Cody Bellinger. Obviously, you guys recognize both of those names. We would be giving up George Brett, Christy Matheson, and a younger guy, Anthony Siegler, a catcher, for... Joe Maurer and Cody Bellinger. Now, I'm not going to do this right now. I probably won't even do this at the trade deadline, but I was just uh, going through the teams, looking through some of the trade options. Maybe we make a move at the deadline. I don't know. And I put together this package because I saw that Joe Maurer and Cody Bellinger were not the highest of value guys, and George Brett's got a ton of value. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I could put together a package to get both of these guys, and this package would work. So. I'm not going to do this right now, but it is an option, so we're just going to keep that in the back of our heads here, and remember that we can get Cody Bellinger and Joe Maurer if we trade Christy Matheson, George Brett, and Anthony Seigler. So that is just one of the options. I probably won't even do it at the deadline like I mentioned, but without further ado, we have to simulate the, uh, we have to simulate the uh, Futures game, which is no big deal. Albert Abreu is injured. That is completely fine. We're just going to keep him active. That's completely fine. As David Peralta just needs to be keep uh, kept active as well. Play the home run derby. I don't think we have anybody in the home run derby. We're going to have four minute or four yeah four minute rounds because I think uh, I think I had it at two minute rounds or three minute rounds or something. And it was too slow or too quick. So we're going to go to the the regular four minute. We do not have anybody in the home run derby this year. I think we had, did we have Big Poppy or did we have Frank Thomas in it last year? I can't remember, but I'm just gonna go randomly. I'm gonna close my eyes and pick somebody out of this group that I'm gonna be. So let's pick right now. Who is it? We're gonna be Dante Bichette. We're gonna be Dante Bichette in the home run derby. I was one away from Joey Gallo. That kind of stinks, but let's see if we can get a W with uh, Dante Bichette. Let's do this thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're probably not going to watch this. We don't really need to, so we're just going to fast forward to the next batter. And George Foster hit 20 home runs. Okay. Stan Musial is up to the plate. We're going to fast forward behind Stan Musial. He gets 21 and moves on. Good for him. Chipper Jones up to the, the plate to hit now. And Chipper hit 15, so Joey Gallo takes the plate. Probably my pick to win this whole thing. And he does move on with 16 home runs. Now it's time for Eddie Matthews, the man that we're going up against. He hits 19, okay, so obviously Dante Bichette, a very good home run hitter. We know that from the game against the Blue Jays a couple of episodes ago, he went yard on us. So we've got four minutes to hit 20 home runs that's gonna be number one that's gonna be number two that's gonna be short oh it was long enough that was dead center that's gonna be good oh yep that was good four of them we don't have the uh the bonus time yet 
We're definitely going to need 30 seconds of bonus time, but that one's gone as well. We do get the bonus time on that final one. That one's gone. We got six. Oh, Bichette is dominating right now. That one's not gone. That one didn't feel good off the bat. That one is gone, though. 413. So we do have the bonus time. My energy is getting low. I would like to have at least, like, 14 or 15 before the bonus time starts. Which is definitely possible. That one's gone. That's 410. That one's gone. 413. That one's not gone, I don't think. We're going to call a timeout here. Get our energy up for the bonus time as well. That one was swinging a little too early. Okay, okay. Focus, focus, focus. That one's gone. We still got a minute to go. Plus the bonus time. <clears throat> we need six more to win this thing. Well, to get moving on to the next round. That one's not gone. That one's not gone. Come on, Bichette. There, that one's out of here. That one's gone. That's perfect. We need to get one more before the time's up. There we go. Perfect. We could even get one more before the time's up. Nah, I missed it. Oh, wait. We get one more shot. Final one of the, of the round. Not gone. Okay, 30 seconds. Focus, Bichette. That one's gone. 18. That one's gone. 19. No, it's not. That one's gone. Tied it. We tied it. We're going to a swing off, everybody. We tied it with 19. We're going to an overtime swing off. The ties in any round are broken by a 60 second swing off. Eddie Matthews, he's got 60 seconds to swing it off. He hits one. He hits two. Not, not three. He's got 30 seconds left. He still only has two. This is looking good for us. That's still two. I thought that was gone. There's three. One last hit. And he doesn't get it. Okay, he got one more. He's got one more. Oh, no, they didn't count it. He only hit three in the minute that we have. So we have a chance here, everybody. There's one. Bichette sends that one 445. There, it sends that one out of here. And not that one. That's okay. 30 seconds. That one's gone. No, it's not. That one is gone. We tied it. One last swing for the round. Got it! 400 and we advance. Let's go! That was a big round. That was a very big round there. So we advance. We survive the swing off. Now we got to go between Ralph Kiner and Juan Soto. So let's forward, fast forward here. 21 for Kiner. That's not good because uh, we, barely hit 20. we barely hit 20 of them. We hit 19 actually. And Soto couldn't do it, so Kiner moves on. Joey Gallo is up first for the semifinals on the other side. He hit 21 of them. Oh, man, these guys are good. These guys are big home run hitters. And only 15 from usual, so Gallo moves into the finals. Kiner is up first. He hit 17. Okay, we can do that. We can do 17. We have four minutes. That one's not gone. That's okay. Only 17 from Ralph Kiner. We did 19 in the first round. That one's not gone, I don't think. Oh, it is gone. That was dead center, too. That one's early. I was early on that one. Ooh, that one's not... Oh, man. Those ones to center don't look like they're good at all. And yet they find their way. That was off the foul pole. That one's got to be gone. Oh, too high. Nope, too low on that one. That one felt good. That one felt good too. 435. Just got a trophy. I'll have to check that later. Oh! We need 10 more in two minutes. Is it possible? 
Oh, another one to dead center. Bichette's getting tired, I can tell. The energy is dropping. I'm going to do one more with this low energy, and then I'm going to call a timeout here. Come on. Is that one gone? Is that foul? That's off the pole. All right, call the timeout. Get the energy back. Dead center. I have not hit any of them to 440 or deeper. So we're not going to have a chance at the, the bonus time. <clears throat> but we may not need it. We have 30 seconds to hit three of them. Two more. One more. We tied him. And we send it off, ladies and gentlemen, with an absolute moonshot. 4.33 with four seconds left. We move on to the finals. Dante Bichette versus Joey Gallo. Joey hit... He hit 21 of them in the last round. What does he do? 18. We're getting lucky. We can do 18. We have four minutes to hit 19 home runs to win the home run derby. We're not starting off the strongest here. We got one off the foul pole. That's a good start. It's a good start. We're one for four right now. I don't know that's gone. No, that's foul. I think Bichette's just tiring out at the end here. That one's a moonshot, but still didn't even go. Yeah, we're down a minute and we only have two home runs. I need to go on a big streak and it needs to start now. Nah, I think Bichette's just getting tired, everybody. I think Dante's just getting a little bit winded. I'm putting the necessary power on him. They're just not going over the wall. That one went, surprisingly. That one goes. Joey Gallo is just a different animal when it comes to hitting home runs, everybody. I don't know what to tell you. That one's gone. Nope, couldn't hit that one. 405, call the timeout. We have one over 440. We need to hit another one. So we at least have a chance at the... Oh, that was so close. I just needed one more foot on it. 438, need two more feet on it. I need 10 home runs in 50 seconds, especially if we don't get the bonus time. That one's gone. Ugh, not... I don't think it's going to happen, boys. I'm giving it my all. I am giving it everything that I have to hit this ball out of the park. Is that going to earn us the bonus time? No, it doesn't. This one has to earn us the bonus. This final hit has to earn us the bonus time. And that didn't get out in time. We lose in the final round. I think Dante just didn't have enough energy left. Joey Gallo is going to take the derby. Congratulations to Joey Gallo. He is just a different breed when it comes to hitting home runs, man. Unbelievable. We had a huge fight. I, I don't think it helped that we had to go to a swing off in the first round. That one kind of tired us out a little bit. But we make it through Eddie Matthews. We get through Ralph Kiner. But we could not surpass Joey Gallo. Impressive performance. But in the end... Joey Gallo takes the home run derby. Let's get straight into the all-star game. Booyah, baby. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we start out at the plate with the American League, Roberto Alomar. I saw that we had two starters on the American League. Oh, Alomar. Uh, we had two starters. I think it was Alex Rodriguez and Barry Bonds were the two starters that we had we also had lefty grove i'm pretty sure made the all-star team matt kemp let's see what he can do here like we do in uh regular um regular yankee games we will show the the highlights well we'll show the full game until we reach uh oh that was a that was a nasty curve but we will show the full highlights until 
we reach the end of the lineup, like the one through nine, until you see everybody at least one time, so that you can get a feel for who's on each team, and especially in the all-star break or all-star game, you want to do that. And then we'll jump around in, any in case anything interesting happens, but you know how we do it here. And here is one of our all-stars, Alex Rodriguez. His first appearance for a Yankee, as a Yankee in the All-Star game. I'm pretty sure he made it last, ooh, thank you. I'm pretty sure he made it last year as a National. But now he makes it as a Yankee, the starting third baseman. Ooh, they think I'm gonna steal with Matt Kemp? I might. I might steal with Matt Kemp. He's got some decent speed. But so does A-Rod, so if we could hit one in the outfield, it could be, uh... Sayonara. Oh, a throwback. Cy Young a little bit worried that Matt Kemp's gonna steal on him. I can't blame him. I can't blame him. I'd be worried too. Let's see what happens here. Is he actually gonna throw me a pitch? He threw me a bad curve. And then he gives me a softball that I just hit right to center field to Ronald Acuna Jr. I hate when they give me those easy cheese pitches and I just knock them right into, uh... I just do them stupid stuff. Stupid stuff with them. Alright, George Foster, didn't he compete in the Home Run Derby? I'm, I just, it just happened and I already forget who competed in the Home Run Derby except for Joey Gallo and, uh, and my guy, Dante Bichette. Well, not my guy, but the guy that we were using. That's gonna be a home run, man. I had that lined up. I had that dead to rights. I felt it in my blood. And yet I fouled it off because I was very early. They still think that Matt Kemp's gonna take a base on him. I may just do it just to test how good Pudge's arm is. Let's do it here. Oh, nope. They saw that coming. They saw that coming. I don't really want to steal without taking a lead because Pudge has got a real good arm. I don't, I don't think I'll make it. I don't want to waste a uh, person on base just because I'm trying to test Pudge's arm. But George Foster, that's number two that I've just missed. These 12-6 curves are, he's laying them in for me and I'm just missing them. But I am going to go down on that one in the shortstop. Who's playing shortstop for the National League? Who is that? Alan Trammell? He just went Shaq mode with the vertical, with no emotion on his face at all, stone faced as he goes up and gets that. Unbelievable. We do have Fernando Valenzuela coming in and uh, starting for the All Stars here against Alan Trammell, the man that just made that amazing play at shortstop. And what? That happened in the game in the last episode with Lefty Grove. The first pitch was an easy strike that they call a ball. I don't know what these umpires are doing. And that's a nice hit from Trammell. That's going to be in the corner. And they're going to have amazing starting spot. He's going to go three because of a bad throw. What just happened? He got a triple out of that. I don't know how he got a triple out of that, but he got a triple out of it. And now they got Tony Perez, the first baseman, up to the plate. One of the better hitters of all time. Let's see if Valenzuela can get out of this without giving up a run. It's going to be tough. We're going to have to paint the corners a little bit here. See if we can strike these boys out. And Perez is going to get to shortstop. That's going to get a run, though. It is going to be out. But there is the run. So that's disappointing. Stan Musial, he was in the all or the home run derby. I do remember that from Cincinnati playing, playing for the Reds. Let's see if we can strike somebody out here. We have not had good success to open up this game with Fernando Valzuena, but he is leading the Cy Young so far, so he's going to obviously be pretty good. I just don't know how to use him, I guess. Let's see if this curveball gets usual. That was not a good curveball. All right. Let's see if the circle change gets him a second time around here. And probably could have gotten him. He just didn't fall for it. It looked pretty enticing. I probably would have swung at it. Uh, that's going to be up the middle. Chipper Jones has no shot at it, and that's going to be another base hit. One out, and the National League is cooking us so far. Sammy Sosa, we just played him in the Philly game. He did not play very well. I think I struck him out four times with Lefty Grove. So 
Ooh, he went for that circle change. Let's see if he goes for the screwball. He does go for the screwball. Sammy Sosa has not made contact with any of my pitches, I think, in any time that I played against him. Mike Schmidt also on that Phillies team that we played. I do remember that. Let's see if we can strike him out. Two outs in the first. Thank you for the generous call there on that circle change. Let's see if we get him on the screwball. We do get him. That's out number three. And we go to the bottom or the top of the second, I should say, with Barry Bonds, our second all-star starter. I think only A-Rod and uh, Barry Bonds are our two starters. And Barry Bonds sends that one to center field that's going to be caught by Acuna. Okay. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. It is all good because now we got Mike Pizza up to the plate. Let's see what we can do with him. I'm not sure what team he's playing for at this point. Oh, that was the cheese, but I missed it. I didn't put the PCI where I needed it to. That was the cheese. That was a homer, especially on that 330 fence. That was definitely a homer. Tino Martinez. The first baseman, not sure where he's playing, but he's an all-star this year. I don't think he was an all-star last year. I don't remember him being one. He's going to get a dink. Ah, Tony Perez is there. Good athleticism from Tony P Perez there. All right, Eddie Matthews also in the home run derby. Let's see if we can strike him out and not allow him to get a home run. I would really prefer that. <laughs> I would really prefer a non-home run from Eddie Matthews here. That's going to be a generous call on the corner there. And the screwball makes contact with it. Respectable, respectable. Let's see if he makes contact with the curve. And he does not. It fools him. That's another strikeout for Valenzuela. Pudge Rodriguez up to the plate here. The all-star starting catcher. A former Yankee. Didn't we have him last year? I think we did. I'm pretty sure we had Pudge last year. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we had Pudge last year. And I'm not sure what team he's on now. Obviously in the National League somewhere, but not sure where he's at. And a beautiful screwball. Beautiful from Valzuena. Starting to get a little bit hot here. Ronald Acuna must be on the Braves still because his picture is his current picture with the Braves. So... Usually they only keep that picture with in a fantasy draft if you're actually on the team that you're really on in real life. So he must still be on the Braves. I think I've noticed that before and mentioned it in a video and just have forgotten about it at this point. And get him swinging on the screwball. Let's see if we get him chasing on this curve. Gotta, 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 gotta get him. Okay, okay. Circle change. Low and outside. He's not going to get this. No chance. He doesn't, he falls for it, and that is the end of the second. Well, the top of the second, or bottom of the second, excuse me. Sandy Koufax is in now, I probably should warm up somebody. Let's warm up uh, Vita Blue. We do have Lefty Grove here, as I mentioned, as a, he makes a starting pitcher. So we'll warm up Vita Blue, or Vita Blue, however you wanna say his name. Dante Bichette, our user in the home run derby. Made a valiant effort into the finals but just got a little bit gassed at the end and couldn't finish the job that's gonna be a bad pitch sandy koufax can't control his pitches right here change up not where he wanted to put it i would assume and that's gonna be a change up where he doesn't want to put it either if i can get something with bachette i know i can send this might be it to tie the game and I missed it I was so late on it uh, Jose Altuve is gonna bring that in Chipper Jones the starting short shortstop for the American League not sure why he's the starting shortstop but he is I didn't think he was playing short I think he's playing ch uh, third base but it is what it is he's uh he's here we can't change that now and let's see if Sandy Koufax will give me something that I can put in play and he did I just put the PCI down low instead of up high he gave me something to hit let's see what he does on 1-1 one, one. he's gonna throw low I'm gonna go low and Tony Perez is a gold glove over there at first base he's got the reaction times of a cat 
And now we got Roberto Alomar back up, so we've batted around our lineup. You've seen everybody at least once in our lineup. And once the half inning goes between the National League and the next inning, then you will have seen everybody that is uh, at least a starter in the All-Star game, which is the most important part. We don't really need to see the the uh, the bench and the entire roster. You got to see it a little bit. They're going to throw out on on Roberto Alomar. I mean, he's got 90 steel. Not not too shabby. I didn't realize he was that uh, prolific of a stealer. And that's going to be some cheese that I miss. Why do I always miss the cheese? I always miss the cheese. Acuna is going to bring it in. And I think they only have... Yeah, Jose's the last guy that is going to come up to the plate. Oh, I wanted to switch out for Vita Blue. All right, good. So he one pitch swing and A-Rod's going to throw that in there. And I'll, I'll go the rest of the third inning. It doesn't really matter. You guys get to see Vita Blue then. So we'll bring in Vita Blue when we warm up Pedro Martinez. Let's put in Blue. He did a valiant effort, Fernando Valenzuela, but it's time for Blue's turn. Let's see how he does. Starting off with a curveball. Doesn't get him chasing at all. Just had to test the waters a little bit. Because it's the All-Star game. <laughs> Matt Vaskersian, that's what happens in the All-Star game. Let's see if we can. They finally get a strike. Alan Trammell got a triple, remember, in the first inning. So let's see if we can not do that again. I'd rather not give up a triple. There it is. Let's see what happens here with the curve. And got him swinging and tagging with Piazza. There it is. Two down. Tony Perez up. And we get the first pitch strike with the two-seamer. Let's throw the change up now. Ooh, he almost, he thought about it. He definitely thought about it. Throwing up that change up again. Doesn't get him again. Okay. So let's throw this four seamer in the zone. See what it gets him. He swung at it, fouls it off. Curveball. Get him swinging. Ooh. Almost sent that yard. Luckily, he didn't get enough contact on it, or the timing wasn't right on it. But he does get the change up. He just missed it a little bit. That's going to be right to Bichette. And he's going to get that in. That's going to do it. I'll catch you guys when something good happens. A-Rod with a home run. I didn't, I didn't say anything because I didn't know if that was going to get out or not. But Alex Rodriguez ties this game off of Randy Johnson with a home run in the All-Star game. Let's go. I wasn't sure that was going to get out. It kept drifting and drifting and it went. I will surely take it. Off of Randy Johnson, no less. Let's go. I thought he was going to get there. Stan Musial made it look like it was going to be caught, but he didn't get it in the end. All right, we've made it to the top of the ninth inning. It's 3-3. Three to three, And we are going to try and win this game in the top of the ninth. We've had some very slow games. A pretty a pretty slow All-Star game. Not really much has happened. A few home runs have gone out the park, but nothing crazy. Nothing you guys deserve to or nothing you guys have like really missed. Tina Martinez up to the plate. One out in the top of the ninth. Mariano's warming up in the bullpen. Another one of our Yankee All-Stars. Tino chips that one and gets tagged by Ozuna running down the baseline. So it's up to Dante, our final out of the ninth. At least the top of the ninth. He's going to send that one to the stands, but in foul territory. Let's see if we can get something good here. He's going to send that one to left field. Stam usual will bring it in, and that'll be the end of the ninth inning. Well, the top of the ninth inning. Mariano is ready to go. 
Let's put him in. All right, so they've got Trey Turner coming in to be a pinch hitter. Let's see if we can uh, strike him out here. Ooh, nasty cutter from Mariano. You forget how nasty his pitches are until you actually pitch with him. <laughs> and he's got some nasty stuff. The movement is crazy. He's one of the best for a reason. Jeff Bagwell up to the plate now to try and send this one home with a W. The National League may have it here. Dante Pachette misses that one. He's going to send it to third. And he's safe. Dante Pachette misses the hot ball to right field, and Bagwell may have just sent the National League home with a W. Can Pudge Rodriguez clinch it for the National League? Everybody in the infield is in. Can Mariano get out of it? That was a high slider, not where I placed it, but it's okay. He still chips the slider. Okay, I'm gonna go cutter, same spot. And it works. Whew, got Pudge looking. Ronald Acuna Jr. Could he be the man to send the NL home with a W? I'm not sure who won last year. I cannot remember, to be honest with you. I'd have to go back and watch the video. But Mariano, one more strike and we go to extras. Got him swinging. We're headed to extra ball game. We jump in here in the top of the 11th, tied 3-3 with a runner on second. And Barry Bonds at the plate. Can we do it? Barry Bonds just need one in the outfield. And then we are golden pony boy. All we got to do is clinch it in the bottom. We got Brad Hand warming up. We also got Craig Cri Craig Kimbrell warming up as well. Can we send these Dodger fans home happy? Well, these All-Star Game fans home happy. I'm sure there's some Dodger fans in here. They probably wouldn't be happy either because the Dodgers in the NL. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I can't believe I missed that fastball though. That's going to be okay. Okay. Let's see if we can just get a ball anywhere in play. There it is. That'll work. That's going to be gone. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. But we're going to send him. We're going to send him. Get there. Get there. Get there. He's safe. We got a man on third with one out. The chance to win is at the, is at the plate with uh, Jorge Posada because we're going to pinch hit him. The game on the line. I know what you're going to say, Matt Vasquez, and you've said it for the past decade. We're not going to swing at that. They are expecting a pitch out, or they're expecting something crazy to happen. They've got the infield in. Anything in the outfield gives us the lead, obviously. And they're going to play at home. They're going to have a play at home. So we got to be careful where we hit this ball. Can we do it? It's going to be the play at first. They didn't go for the play at home. We get the run to go. What are we doing, boys? You didn't go for the play at home. You didn't at least try for the play at home. Tino Martinez is going to be subbed for Prince Fielder. We have the lead now, 4-3, to three, because of a boneheaded mistake. Maybe he didn't think he could get the play and just went for the easy out. I don't know, but I would have still tried for the the play at home, even though it's an all-star game. doesn't really matter. You still don't want to lose. There's bragging rights. Let's see if we can send, send this one out of the park with Prince Fielder. I've yet to hit a home run playing as Prince Fielder in this game, so I'm not going to do it there. I'm surprised I even made contact with that, to be honest with you. That was a crazy, crazy throw there. Let's see what Richard Rodriguez throws here. That's going to be a ball. I got a good eye on that one. You're not getting me on that. You may get me on this one, but you're not getting me on that. All right, easy. Easy money. There it is. 
I always swing early on those pitches for some reason. It looks so tempting. I have to swing. That's going to be a ball. You're not going to get me on that. Probably should be 3-2, but I swung at that earlier fastball. That's going to get me. Holy crap, that was a horrible pitch. Pudge has to go run for it. He's still going to get me out, though. That was a crazy sequence right there. We've got Craig Kimbrell, who's going to come in to close this game down. I wish it could have been Mariano, but it'll have to do with, with Kimbrell. Daryl Strawberry, the man that the, I think it's the Cubs, have on the trade block, makes the All-Star game and has a chance to win it for the National League. Get out of here. Daryl Strawberry sat down. Dave Parker is up with a chance to win the game, or at least tie the game. I guess he could hit a home run to win the game if he really wanted to. This man's beefy, though. 0-2. Let's see if we get him with the knuckle curve here. Kimbrel. He pops it. He pops it. Jose Reyes goes over and bags that one. And now it's time for Trey Turner. One more out. And the AL will steal this one. From the, Amer or from the National League. There's a nice one. One final strike to Trey Turner. Can Kimbrel close it? Ooh, that was close. That was close. We're going to go with another knuckle curve. Back to back. And we got him. The W for the American League. Let's go. Josh Hader gets the W. And the American League steals one for the National League. Booyakasha. Let's go. All right, now that we've done the all-star break, it is time to get to the trade deadline. So let's continue to simulate. And Josh Naylor seems to be uh, injured again. He just got off the injured list. Pete Alonzo has been sent to the Royals from the Red Sox. The Red Sox really doing this rebuild here. They get some younger prospects back for Pete Alonzo. And the Angels have sent us a deal. Jacob Pearson for Matt Foster. Let's check out Matt Foster here. 27 years old. A potential. 74 overall. He's 3-4. and four, Played 54 games so far for the Angels. He's got a 415 ERA. That would fit right in with what we're doing here. What about our guy Jacob Pearson? He's 22. 67 overall B potential. He's got six home runs in, uh, what is that, double A? Or is that triple A? Is he in, he's in double A. Do we go with the older guy that is more established with better potential? Or do we stick with this younger guy who maybe has a little bit more value? Let's take a look at our pitching depth here. We don't have a lot of guys with good value. <laughs> that is for sure. You know what? I don't actually hate this deal. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to accept this deal from the Angels. We'll get back Matt Foster here. That didn't seem like that bad of a deal to me. And we will immediately take a look at Matt Foster here. Where's he at? Oh, here he is. He's in the MLB right now. We're going to move him down to Triple A. I can't have him on the 40 man. I probably don't want him on the 40 man. Let's take him off the 40, man. He's going to be in uh, on waivers. I don't think anybody would claim him. But let's keep simulating a couple more days here. Patriots have an invalued lineup. Babe Ruth has broken his forearm. That is not good. Trevor Story has dislocated his shoulder. So we're getting some injuries down the line here. Trevor Williams has uh, a little bit of an injury. We're getting some bad... Uh... Oh, the Angels... The Angels just fleeced me. The Angels really just fleeced me. They took my my left fielder and they claimed this man off of off of waivers. The Angels really fleece me. I hold on, I gotta I gotta give a, a round of applause for the Angels. They really just fleece me on that. Congratulate I'm not mad at that. Congratulations. Jose Ramirez is being shipped off to the uh, the Cubs in division trading. That's a little bit awkward, but the Braves or the Brewers get back two uh, prospects that are 69 to 67 overall. 
All right. Shed Long broke his shin out for two to three months. We are sustaining some crazy injuries in the month of July. We simulate this final day. We got the W. It is trade deadline day, and we are 11 games up on the Orioles. That is exactly what you want to see. Now, I don't... I don't see any way we make any trades here. We have Christy Matheson. Put Kerry Wood in there. He's actually a starting pitcher. Uh, we have Christy Matheson. Or not Christy Matheson. We have uh, no really reason to make any trades. Mark Pryor finally lost a game, which kind of sucks. I was hoping he'd go undefeated throughout the season, but he lost a game. I don't see any holes in our lineup. I don't think we will make any trades. Maybe we make some trades in the offseason. But I think this is going to be a little bit of a of a more boring trade deadline. We'll simulate past it. We do lose the game against the White Sox. And there it have it. I didn't really think there was any moves. I, I took a look at uh, the the uh, trade block before we, we started, started this video. Just get rid of all this stuff. Nobody cares about this stuff. All right. So we have 11 and a half games up on the Orioles with two full months to go and then about a half a month in October to go. So we got some big series against the Orioles coming up late in this season. So those are going to be huge to play in the next couple episodes. I think what we'll do is we'll play on the road, maybe at the Mets. We'll play, we'll play the Subway Series against the Mets in the next episode. And then in the episode after that, we'll play the Orioles because that's probably going to be the uh, the series that clinches the division for us. And then we'll go on from there and, and play the playoffs in the next episode. So that's what we're going to do. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you did enjoy. Hit that notification bell and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.